evening and welcome back to yet another bow review and the third one from the Simsek Bow Special Collectors Edition. You saw already the big one, the Hybrid S Plus, the Sipahi S Plus and today we talk about the small one. Some could think it's a kid's bow but nothing more far away than that. That is the Azarax S Plus. And this one is for flight archery, yes. So, but before I show you everything, of course, again, you have here your documentation where it shows you everything, what you need to know, like the full length is 100 centimeters from end to end. Length from knock to knock is 94 centimeters, draw length 25 to 26, string length 88, brace height 15 centimeters and so on. But you can read it by yourself. And now the thing is, usually they build flight bows out of, you know, horn, composite, very lightweight, and they break after a few arrows. I think this one is a very durable solution. One meter long, we have extremely an aggressive angle here from the limb to the kazan, then the head. The handle is nice, a bit modified, it's a little thicker, feels very good. We have, for safety reasons, here some wrapping around, just in case it's transition. It's a lot of force working on this little bow. At the back you see the kasan has a groove where the string can run in, so you are a little more safe when you shoot. I think which is quite important. We have here a reinforced, uh, not a string bridge, kind of a string bridge here. And of course uh, the usual the rest as usual here there is more and we have the decoration on it so and directly before you ask now how much is this bow the azarax mini s starts at 1000 euros this model is 1250 plus the decoration then you end up at 1350 euros i know sounds a lot but check what you will pay for a flight bow when you order one first of all order one from someone then you wait a year two years until it's done Second, uh, stringing, maintenance of horn bows, sinew bows, quite a thing. Uh, and then it relativates, do you say it like this? Relativieren? It, it, it equals it out and then the price is, I mean, you need to know when you need a flight bow and you want something a bit more durable and safe. This might be an option for you. Stringing a little beast like this might be a little tricky because you have a lot of flex there. Let's see. <clears throat> but even this bow is easy to string. It's very interesting. These bows are so sturdy compared to a horn bow. But they said already I need to take care because they lead, this bow needs a little more maintenance in adjusting everything because there is, of course, as you can see, a lot of tension going on. But looks good so far. A straight wiggle. It wiggles a little more, but obviously, because of this angle, it gives it a little more. Hmm? And in this direction, it's a little wigglier too. So, this is a very thin, very fragile bow, only made for a flight archery. And what they did, they already put a knocking point on it. But it's a cute little bow, huh? Handle feels quite good. And it's 49 pounds at 25. I think there's a regulation with these bows up to 50 pounds. Yeah, here you need to, this is quite moving here. So you see that? So here you really need to check sometimes that your sear is straight. And here too, because of this joint here. So that makes it a little weak. But I guess we are good to go. Let's see how it looks like, huh? Look, nice. Whoa. And I think this bow needs to warm up a bit again. But feels overall not bad. So draw experience wise is not bad. And then we check. <laughs> Go away. Oh, this is fly doing here. Not too bad, not too bad. These are uh, one thing I would recommend uh, to the family Shimshik. When you do flight archery, you need special arrows. And I would 
to recommend that you include not only... Oh, I, I forgot to tell you in general, when you get a bow from them, you get always a spare string, you get a sleeve, and you get one arrow in the recommended draw length. So you see directly when you put this arrow on, what is the, the, the max draw of your bow. find this very interesting, so there is no confusion then. But for this bow, I would recommend that you include a few very lightweight flight arrows, you know, with, this, with the very small uh, feathers at the end and stuff like that would make life easy because I shoot now 27 inch long my most lightweight arrows I have. This one is 280 grain and we see what will happen 280 grain at a 50 pound bow. <laughs> Let's see. Feels a little weird not being able to draw this bow full. But it's meant to be only drawn 25 inches. Let's shoot it. This bow, as I said, is a totally special bow, special design for one purpose, flight archery. But as I don't have the space, I still need to shoot at my targets here. So, but I simply tell you now how it feels like. Draw experience goes nice back, so you feel really the, the lever coming down. At the end it gets a little stiff, so these arrows are 27 inches, so I can draw a bit more I guess. And then it kicks the arrows nice away, it's not a speed monster with these arrows. But I think it's a fun shooter. So accuracy is not there yet, this small bow is really Everything else then forgiving, needs a few shots, but you get them. I mean, I like small bows. Let's see, not bad. Once your oh, release is very critical here, it's almost probably this one you really want to shoot with a thumb ring. But starting Katra. No, accuracy is still not there. But now the bow wants to flex a little more, so you feel it now. Getting there. And my thumb getting there too. The string is bitey. 50 pounds on a small bow like this. Woo -hoo. 49 pounds. So, then let's see. The bow does max 26 from 24 to 26. Let's see what it says at 24. So. That's the bow at 24, and I know you were waiting for my magic triangle. Not there yet, almost, but not there. Interesting, huh? Uh, 26 is max. Look at this, then the limb goes already inside, so not very comfy anymore, I guess. Then we are already a little over the 60 degree angle. And there's written 85. I don't know what that means. But this is how the bow looks like. This is how you can draw it maximum. But you should draw it 25 inches. Of course, one have to, has to consider that this bow is not made for target archery. So accuracy might not be that big of a thing. This is a flight bow and you shoot simply how far as you can go. But Today, my friends, I really have to sacrifice my thumb for a thumb ring because this is not going to work. With this tiny string, now let's see, 20 meters if I hit something there. Oh yeah, get there. Well, look at this. Not bad. 30. This is better than expected. Now look. Boy's good. Ah, it was a rain cover. Not bad for my first shots on the longer distance. This is not my thumb ring now because mine are all at home. It's a little too big. Oh, nice. 
me like it. That was not too bad, it was quite accurate, I didn't expect that. So these arrows are between 280 and 300 grain and I do the best I possibly can. 163, that was way not full draw. Sixty four, hundred sixty four, hundred ninety four. I don't know, I don't think so. Hundred seventy seven takes a bit. I guess we should another round. Now it starts and the bow wants to flex a bit more now. 170. These thumb rings. 170. Ooh. It's a little windy, huh? It's a little windy, but you know, we don't mind. It's 84. This is what the bow feels like, yes. 175. But of course you feel every grain with this bow. So maximized. What this knock is weak. 173. Hundred eighty-two. Yeah, when you draw really to the max back there. Uh, yeah, hundred seventy-one. It's a beast of a bow, and it's it's totally fun to shoot with this bow. Ah, but I need my thumb ring again. Now this string is not going to work with my skin. So let's see. Only this is a little too big. And what you have, you have a durable bow. This bow will last you. You have light competitions and with a bit of practice you get even accurate with this bow. I am totally impressed. I didn't expect this performance from this bow. I mean that it performs good, but that you can shoot even accurate with a small bow, no anchor point, nothing. You only draw 25 inches or six. Look. And kicks the arrows nice away. The only thing really includes some nice flight arrows. Make a set out of it. Oh. A little string twist, of course with this bow it's a little tough to do, the shorter the bow the harder is to get the string twist. But I start shooting groups with this bow. I love this bow. A little windy today. So, 10 meters. Fun shooter. Only the thumb ring is bugging me. Oops. I said it's not showing off or something, but you know. Wait a sec. We turn the camera. Bloop. And then we look down. Yeah. See how many arrows did I shoot now? 20. And start shooting groups already. <laughs> it's an amazing, it's an amazing boy, I can tell. Father and some son sim check only because the review is a little shorter. Because the bow is a little shorter doesn't mean <laughs> the bow is not so good. Simply sometimes things are said quicker. Look, this is all, this is the whole size of this bow, one meter long. Insane, draws 25, 26 inches, 
kicks arrows nice away and is now a little out of tilt, but not a lot. So when you see that, I told you I shot horn bows and then they look like this after two shots and whatever. And until you brace them, until you string them, take some this bow, you simply string, you warm it up a little, you start shooting with a horn bow. But of course different, maybe they perform better, of course they perform maybe a little better, but not that much that it justifies the higher price in my opinion. This one in every weather condition exactly the same like all the other Shimshik bows, humidity no problem, heat, cold, everything no problem. You can do everything with this bow but you should know what you are doing. So this bow is not, as you see here, is not so forgiving as the others but of course when you get this 1200 or from 1000 euros it starts this 1200 euro bow i think you have an idea for what you will use it get some nice lightweight arrows with it and have fun a really impressive bow didn't think that i would like it that much but it's fun and as you could see after a few arrows you start shooting groups even with this even this bow is not meant for target archery it's still fun to shoot it's a different experience and i think if you have already a few bows and you want to try something new might be an interesting option this is interesting to to, to play around with this bow of course on the other side the price is a little uh, not on the play around side but you know you only live once Get one and when you get it now, I said on Etsy, you get the voucher code I'm in 10. 10% 10 off, not too bad. Handle of this one feels really good, so it's wrapped differently, it's wrapped in suede. And you have a nice grip to it, you have this whipping here. And it's, it's a pretty bow, look, look. Pretty, the see uh, wash transition, you see that there is a small reinforcement there out of, I don't know what it is, nylon or something. Then you have the Kassan, then you have this extreme angle here in the Kassan. Then it goes there to the handle, handle is nice made. Such a pretty bow. And then of course decoration again. I think 100 euros more when you spend the money for a bow like this. You might want to have this with this decoration. It's really pretty. The back side is plain so you don't see anything, only the whipping obviously. Pretty bow, and I like this. Look here on the side, this nice decoration. It looks really nice. String is well made. As you see, the loop ends exactly in these two small, I call them now string bridges. Leather workmanship is really nice. Handle is awesome. Uh, of course, again, write something on it, but of course, give or at least give the option to the uh, buyer to the customer because I had one comment he said I go to reenactment events with my Simshake bow and when I have something written there and I need to always cover it up I understand that for this person would be better to have the option no writings on the bow so maybe you want to offer both options with description on the bow without description on the bow of course don't charge anything but you know some people might want to have it like me and some others might not want to have it like this guy from the reenactment group I'm amazed. I might shoot now a bit more, but I need to find another thumb ring which fits better. That's, this string is cutting. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you can give thumbs down twice. Works very well. Trust me, try it. Give thumbs down twice. Perfect. Best you can do. And for the rest, please like, subscribe, and you know, all these things. It's important to let the channel grow. Uh, the more people I reach, the more interesting it is for us all, I guess, for the community of archers. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.